Hello, this is the Captain. Welcome back to Build Review. In this review, we're going to be going over the Rib Track C by Phil. Looking at the workshop page here, we have the Rib Track C. So, I like the thumbnail here. As you can see, going up uh, some steep terrain here. Suspension, extreme off-road, Rib Track C. So, nice work here on this thumbnail. Some nice pictures here showing off its um, extreme off-roading capabilities. Very nice, very nice. So, again, by Phil. So, Rip's ripsaw inspired extreme off-road track vehicle powered by a supercharged 3x3 cylinder this high clearance custom suspension beast accelerates fast and climbs anything up to 70 degrees 300 percent inclines features very tough no drifting fast acceleration stoic a point two toggable suspension unflip feature stats 1210 mass uh, sixteen thousand dollars to buy top speed 100 uh, kilometers an hour fuel tank 750 liters survives max speed crashes and rollovers just don't jump on pointy stones with the main body. Can drive on with disabled broken suspension with toggle suspension and default steering. Tips to achieve max climb cables. Release the suspension and drive backwards. Only tap steering when in direct steer. All right, so not too many instructions here. So hopefully it's pretty simple to operate. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I like the look of it. Definitely looks kind of like the ripsaw if you've ever seen that. It uh, is inspired by that and has that look to it. So... Good detailing on here as you see the suspension there very cool rib track dash c we have a service hatch here let's open that up and that's pretty cool we'll get to look into the engine bay i like that that's nice close that back up so really nice uh design on this i like the visual being able to see in the engine here so let's see 80 steering ws is forward reverse up down is rps limit space is direct steer one is wheel brake Three is off-road gear. Six is unflip. So let's look here. Heater, lights, wheel brakes are on engine. So it looks like it's going through starting procedure and shows kilometers per hour. We have AFR. We have RPM, stoic, and engine temp there. We have RPS limiter. It looks like it's set on max. Release suspension. All right. So let's take the wheel brakes off here and let's go for a little drive. So it's nice and zippy. Zippy and maneuverable and looks pretty fun here. I like the suspension. I like how it uh, shakes on a suspension that uh, gives it a little bit more interest. You know, sometimes they're a little bit stiff, you know, just because of some of the game mechanics. So good work on this. Nice and fast and fun. As you can see, it goes up no problem here. So this is a good, uh, good uh, exploration vehicle, definitely. But a uh, really cool vehicle here. Just uh, pretty much gives, goes up anything, you know, ask it to go up. It disturbs birds with great abandon. You know, seems pretty rugged. I'm kind of, I'm not having a hold back. I can just kind of slam and it goes, which is pretty cool here. But dare I jump off this cliff? <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? I'm told that as long as you don't hit a pointy rock, we should be good. Uh, look at that. Uh-oh, a little bit roll. It does have an anti-flip, so I would kind of like to see that in place there. I probably have damage off, so let's check that. Might have damage. Nope, vehicle damage is on, as you can see. So let's test the unflip, so that's six. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the body shop guy probably doesn't like that. He's going to have to replace the hood, but uh, as you can see, it unflips well. And I did have damage on, so it uh, has no problem going up like that. It's excessive, but... Um, you know, that's greater than 70 degrees, so. We'll hopefully get there eventually here. We'll get to a point where we can kick it over. There we go. And that flips up nicely, so. So it has an off-road gear. Let's hit that really quick. We'll go up this. So let's hit the three off-road gear here. So it seems like it's just changed the gearing. We can hear it rev up and it's going slower, so it has more torque, it would seem. But as you can see, it uh, has no problem going up and down pretty much anything. Now I'll take that off-road gear down just so it's not screaming so much. But uh, really cool vehicle. I like it a lot. It's... Uh, Kind of a fun exploration vehicle. It's simple to operate. It's um, well designed. It looks good. And as you can see, it operates pretty well here. You know, damage is on. I don't know how that didn't damage the back, but um, it didn't when we hit it. As you can see, damage is on. So um, 
works really works really well here. So uh, cool build, and thank you for sharing it.